a lot now. We're not even out at the movies very often, but wouldn't it be nice if you could sound, if you could hear like the movies on your TV set at home? We spend a lot of money on these big, nice TV sets. You don't have to spend a lot of money to make them sound good because as they've gotten bigger and slimmer, there's no room for a great sound system. Well, here's your chance to get the best sound system for under $200 for free shipping and handling on our best easy payment plan of $33.32. We've sold over 30,000 of these. And Brett Hamilton here, hey now. one of our tech experts, up, is Mama? here <laughs> to let us hear it. Let's, the last time we presented it. this together, yeah. I had not heard it yet. I heard it live and I was blown away at the difference. So let's just go right into it yep. so you can hear it because for $200, you're going to want this for your TV, especially if you watch as much as we do. Yeah, close your eyes for a second and you'll hear the difference between the TV and the Bose. Here we go. Those are the TV speakers and to the naked ear, so to speak, not that bad, but not that good. Right? <laughs> Notice you can hear her voice over top of all the activities. Quiet. There is a reason. Just like that. Just like that, we're back to the TV sound. And now, it's definitely more difficult to understand what she's saying. And all the details gone. I understand. All right, TV one more time. And check this out. How much did that video cost? Thirty million dollars. No, what? I made that up. Oh, I was like, yeah. what? <laughs> Who is she? I just want to make sure you're paying attention. <laughs> no, the the whole point in doing that for you and toggling back and forth between the speakers, which uh, in this TV are underneath, which makes no sense except for the fact that there physically isn't any place to put a sound system. It's not like the TV companies are like, let's stick it to the customer and not give them the TV sound. It's that they want to make the TVs look pretty and make them thin so you can hang them on the wall and they become a piece of art, but then they sacrifice the audio. There's no space to put it. So this one speaker, not one, two, three in the front where you right. have to drill holes and all that good stuff. And then you have to run wires somewhere to put two more speakers in the back and then a subwoofer. What's a subwoofer? It's the base, all that <laughs> stuff on the floor. Nobody knows what any of that is or how to use it. Well, the good news is- They just know they were spending thousands of dollars on it and exactly. now you can get this for 200. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's so, crazy. So for $200 and two cables and the cables come with it, uh, check out how easy it is to make this come to life. We can all plug in an appliance. It could be a blender, a hair dryer, whatever it might be. There's a port for the power and it's right there. It says power, it's clearly marked. That goes into the wall. And then check this out. This is called an optical cable. Strange looking cable. This is a digital version of audio. Remember the red and white cables you used to have on your VCR? Yeah. The yellow cable was the video, the red and the white was your sound. This is taking the, or the place of that. So you plug it into optical here, you plug it into optical in the back of your TV. In the unlikely event, if your TV is older, that little orange port right there will allow you to plug in the old, the old school cable and then you're fine. So either way it works, and either way it makes, as you could hear, an enormous difference in, in what you're hearing when you're watching TV. It's outrageous and you don't have to do anything. It's nice and sleek. Yep. You can just set it down. I think you can mount it if you want to. That's available separately, but yeah, I wouldn't. I would just there. put it right under the TV. You could put it down here on a shelf, mm -hmm. put it on top if it fits, yep. but it's sleek. You don't see it and you don't have wires all over the place. And best of all, you're not spending thousands of dollars to have an electrician come out and put those five, six, seven surround sound that we all did um, around the house. You get that same exact sound. Yep for $200. I mean, it's really fantastic. If you don't want to spend all that right away though, you can break it up into six monthly easy payments on any major credit card. You get it home and you experience this at home because the problem is you're at home listening to the difference on your TV, which is part of the problem. <laughs> and yeah. so you can't really experience how good it is until you experience it in person, but you have 30 days to return it if you don't love it, so. Yeah, and, and again, uh to, t to Terry's point, you're listening to it right now through TV speakers, which is the problem, but there's no <laughs> doubt in my mind that you're hearing the difference. Oh, you're hearing the difference. Not hearing anything at all. That's, uh, that's essentially what you're hearing. But you're maybe not speakers. hearing it 
as yeah. good of the difference as you can. And then there's also another feature with, um, what well, is it the with dialogue. the dialogue? Because yeah. sometimes when you hear the music's too loud in the background, and then you can't hear what the people are saying. And you're like, rewind it, rewind it, what did they say? And it's always that point in the movie where you were like, it's really important and you had to hear it, and you're rewinding it, yep. and you're turning it back up, but then you're still not hearing it. Why is that? Yeah, well, audio works in weird ways, right? Nobody really understands why we hear certain frequencies and why we don't hear others. This button right here, this little dialogue button, almost looks like a thought bubble. This kind of works as a decoder ring. Uh, the bass is the low end, the thump, thump, thump. The high end is that tinty sound that's tss, tss. in between is mid-range. Mid-range is lots of times where our voices are, where you're listening to them right now. If you have a deeper uh, bass in your voice, obviously it goes, it goes lower. Point is, there is a button on here, a little magic button that will allow you when you're watching, especially a movie with a lot of activity in it. So you've got explosions and helicopters and, and all the other good stuff. And, and the tendency is, as we get older, to say, I can't hear what they were saying. So what do you do? You rewind it, you turn it up, you hit the same section, and all you're doing is compounding the problem. You're turning up the noise instead of trying to decipher what it is. So with right. a touch of one button, it gives you essentially what we were talking about before. It gives you the ability to be able to listen to the movie, listen to the TV show, listen to whatever, and actually hear it. So I want you, again, close your eyes. You don't need to watch this, but listen to the difference between the TV sound and the Bose sound, and you will notice the difference immediately. Here we go. You're like, what? They knew not to ask questions. After five years in this line of work, I learned to notice things. When it gets quiet, there is a reason. It got quiet because I turned off the bows, and now you're back to the TV speakers. Hard to believe at first. All right, back to the TV sound one more time. What happened? All the detail went away. And now it's back. Also, one big thing that we, we glance over uh, often is that this is not just a TV speaker. This will work as a Bluetooth speaker as well. So essentially, you're getting two speakers from Bose. You can use it, plug it into your TV, get all the goodness that's plugged into the television, meaning a gaming system, a cable a box, a satellite box or whatever. But because on the remote here, there is a Bluetooth button. Bluetooth is that wireless handshake between your phone, your tablet, your computer, wherever you get your music from, right there. You push that button and this becomes a discoverable device, meaning now you can turn your phone on, go into Bluetooth and say, oh, there's Bose. So you can play your music from it when you're not watching TV. Wow. And that doesn't require another connection other than a wireless connection. It doesn't require another wire or any of that kind of good stuff. So anywhere you get your music from, Pandora or iTunes or whatever it might be, now works through here as well when you're not watching TV. Pretty nice. Well, and think about that. Okay, when you talk about music, you want to hear it the way it was intended to be heard. Yep. You want to hear all those nuances. When we were just listening to that video, you heard all the nuances of the music, of the clanging, of the uh, silverware. silverware. Breaking glass. Breaking glass. Yep. And it feels like, ooh, like you're in the movie, like you're in it. That's why when you go to the movie theater, you feel like you're in that experience. That's why we used to do those surround sound because we wanted that in our home those cost thousands of dollars and included someone coming to install them usually yep. break open walls to put the wires in so you didn't see them and everything you're now getting that for a price of less than two hundred dollars free shipping and handling it's I mean to me it is like such a no-brainer think about the sports that you're gonna want to be watching you hear the crack of the bat you hear the the NASCAR you know vroom. you just want to experience it more this is the way to do it, and it's from Bose, the best of the best of the best. Thank you so much, You can Brett. hear the Phillies fans booing. Oh, no. Bose. I'm not a sports fan, so I don't even know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> E229.